Ron Seiben, and we're checking out another $200 Windows PC. This one is from Acer. It is their new Acer Aspire E11. It's an 11-inch Windows 8.1 notebook that costs about $200, so very similar to uh, the HP Stream PC that we looked at just recently. And in fact, it has the same specifications, but I do think that the HP PC has got a slightly uh, better value overall. But we're going to go through the hardware first and then uh, kind of show you what some of those differences are. So this is it here. It's very lightweight. It's got a smaller battery uh, than the HP does. So you're only going to get about four to five hours compared to six to seven uh, that you'll get out of the HP. So it does make it lighter, but that comes at the cost of battery life. On this side, you've got a, a SD card slot. On the other side, nothing at all. And the reason is, is that they've put all the ports in the back. So you've got uh, HDMI, USB 3, USB 2, and an Ethernet port, which you don't have on the HP. So if you're looking for Ethernet on your little Windows notebook PC, uh, this might be the one to look at. Now, internally, it is pretty much identical to the HP. You've got a Celeron N2840 processor at 2.16 gigahertz. Uh, you have two gigabytes of onboard RAM, 32 gigabytes of SSD storage, and an 11 inch screen here, which um, pretty much looks almost identically to uh, the HP screen. It might be just a little bit brighter. I think I, I slightly prefer the screen uh, on this one to the HP stream. They both have pretty decent viewing angles. It's not an IPS display or anything like that, uh, but it is usable. One thing I did notice though, is that the HP keyboard uh, is a little bit more comfortable for me to type on because the keys are larger. So although the Acer is uh, you know, not quite chiclet size keys, they are slightly smaller than uh, what is on the HP. So I did find the typing experience uh, on the Acer to not be as good as it was on the HP. So that is uh, one of the initial differences. Now there's some other things though too, is that although they both have 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, uh, there's less available hard drive space uh, to, on the Acer than there is on the HP, which was surprising. So what happens with these drives is that they give you a 32 gigabyte drive, uh, but then they kind of slice it up a little bit. So part of the drive has to go to the recovery partition. So if you ever had to you know, restore your Windows installation from scratch, they leave you know, a certain amount of space available for all those installation files. Now on the HP, you get about 21 and a half gigabytes available uh, to the operating system to use. On the Acer, it's only 17.8 gigabytes, and that's before you install everything. So uh, out of the box, this you know, maybe has 10 or 12 gigs available uh, where the HP has maybe about 16 or 17. So uh, you get a little less available space also. And on a Windows PC, uh, space is really at a premium. Now, one way to offset those space limitations, of course, is to take an SD card and put it in the SD card slot. Now on the Acer, uh, that card will stick out. So that really makes it difficult to, uh, you know, kind of add some additional space to your computer and still carry it around. Uh, on the HP, what'll happen is uh, that card goes all the way in and stays in and kind of snaps in with a little spring. So though it sticks out a little bit, uh, it's not going to be as obtrusive as it would be on the Acer where you know, almost half the card is kind of sticking out uh, and really makes it hard to kind of transport this around or rely on this as uh, additional storage. So that's uh, one thing to keep in mind. Now the Acer performs almost identically to the HP because they pretty much have the same exact guts on board. So uh, you're not going to see any performance advantages or disadvantages here. It does uh, you know, load up web pages relatively quickly, depending on how much flash might be on the page. Uh, things scroll and, and really kind of feel rather snappy and Office feels the same. So really from a performance standpoint, there isn't much of a difference. The Octane test on this came in at 8,045, the average over 10 tests, uh, which is pretty much the same as you saw on the HP. So there really isn't, again, much of a difference here. Uh, between how these two machines perform. Now, one thing that does differ, though, is what they give you with it. So on the HP, you're going to get a one-year subscription to Office 365, which will allow you to install and use Microsoft Office on uh, your HP, essentially free of charge for the first year. I think it's about $100 uh, value. Uh, you don't get that on the Acer. So if you're looking for Microsoft Office, you're going to get a free year on the HP, and you'll have to just you know, buy the usual subscription on the Acer. So that is the Acer Aspire E11. It's another nicely functioning $200 Windows PC. However, it doesn't have the same value that the HP Stream 11 gives you for the same price. So they perform identically, uh, but the HP Stream 11 has more available storage space to the user when you first get it set up. Uh, you also uh, can put that memory card flush to the side of the device to kind of augment some of that storage and be able to carry that memory card around with you without damaging things. Uh, you get a year subscription to Office 365 on the HP, and you also get a better battery life, again, all for the same price. So while the Acer looks maybe a little bit nicer because it doesn't come in like the kids' colors of blue or pink, 
uh, you do uh, have to sacrifice a little bit of battery life uh, and storage and some of uh, the creature comforts like getting that flush memory card. So uh, overall though, it's a good buy. It performs just as well as its HP competitor, uh, just offers a little bit less for the same money. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.